banana pancakes. Yummy. This is what they look like when they're done. All it is is a very ripe banana and two eggs. Farm fresh, of course. Stick them in the blender cup, blend it up, pour it on the griddle, and voila! And serve with grass-fed butter. Yummy! Who said pancakes can't be healthy? <laughs> Just eggs and banana. Yummy, yummy. And butter. Okay, look at this. Kombucha is complete. Didn't take as long as I thought. I think because the house had stayed warm with the wood stove. Look at that beautiful scoby on top. That one did amazing. This one's scoby isn't quite as big, but that doesn't matter. It still made a beautiful mother on top, or I should say a baby. The mother made a baby. This one had a few more scobies in there, and I just went ahead and um, made some kombucha out of that one. So that one was done quicker because it had way more scobies to work with, but this one did well. Yummy, we tasted it, it's delicious. So I am going to put it in this jar and put it in the fridge to kind of stop the fermenting process. It'll still continue, but um, we'll be drinking it before it gets to that point. And then we just took our cup out of our sourdough starter. Look at that, and Jedediah is going to be, be making sourdough biscuits. It's a day of lots of ferments, yummy. I wanted to show you this jar as well. I had not uncovered it yet. Take the muslin cloth off. Check out that scoby, guys. Just beautiful. The mama came to the top, which is this big one. Let me show you. Let's see if we can get this figured out. Okay, there's the mama. You can see her right there. I'm pointing to her. And the baby is right off to the side. So she made that baby and it kind of covers the entire top of the jar. This is a peach and boy is it yummy. If you guys have never fermented or done kombucha, I would say give it a try. You may like it. You can see the mama floating on the bottom. This one is ready for another, another batch. The mama's floating on the bottom here now as well. It had come, she had come to the top to let us know that it was ready. This one we will be drinking. This one will be holding all of our scobies. As the babies are born or come to the top and are formed, we put them all in here and we save them. When they're really, really thin, we feed them to the chickens. They love them or we put them in the garden. It's very, very good for the garden as well. And here's an entire gallon that we will be sipping on the rest of this week as I start two new gallons. It's so simple, guys. Just a, some green tea, some flavored tea, some sugar, and you've got a beverage that is so good for your gut. Greetings, YouTube friends. It's Joyce from Morris Patch Haven Homestead, and today was an exciting day because we got to pick up pork and chop from the butcher and put them in freezer camp. You are simply going to be amazed how much two pigs brought in I mean it's just crazy I was like I couldn't believe it we got 12 boxes can you believe that 12 boxes and I'm going to show you how big they were or yeah they were because we unloaded them and how much we got we barely had enough room in our freezer okay we had to purchase a new 10 foot freezer for this area here in our kitchen we have one right there that was I believe a seven foot that our son has his grass-fed beef in and so we needed one to put the pork in so we got this one got a great deal they're actually available again <laughs> for a while there you couldn't get them but guys you have to see this okay check this out okay look how deep that is this entire thing is packed full. This is like we have the bacon on the top and the pork sausage so that we can grab those for breakfast. But guys, there are pork 
chops. There is fresh hams. We did everything without the nitrate, so everything is fresh. Um, so therefore, um, yeah, we are allergic to the nitrate, so we can't have those. So we've got fresh hams in here. We have um, the ribs, sausage, um, besides just regular pork, we got the pork sausage, and this is not all of it, okay? It didn't fit. The boxes were that size right there, okay? Right there. And there were 12 of them, six each. <laughs> Those girls were huge. So I'm going to show you the rest of where we had to put some of, um, some of the sausage and stuff because they're just was not enough room in this freezer so guys I have to tell you if you are thinking of raising your own meat this really is the way to go because you know packs of bacon like this especially that is not no nitrates um, is very very expensive I think we were paying for nitrate free bacon um, four to five dollars a pack closer to five dollars which is not, it was nothing. I mean, it really was just one pack of bacon, so we had to use it sparingly. So if you were to count that all up, I'm telling you, it is just so expensive. And this is really the way to go. And if you can butcher it yourself, which we want to learn to do the next time around, it will be even that much cheaper. Okay, behind the spices here, you can see we have more sausage and ground <laughs> ground pork and some of the hawks here and some yeah I think those are hawks is what those are and um, yeah so we have to move the little kitchen freezer um, there's we put some in there I had to organize this uh, <laughs> don't look at it it's a complete hot mess but you know what we got some more in there and I'm going to show you one of the other freezers okay here we are outside freezer number one <laughs> we have to uh, label them as one, two, three, four, and five, um, you can see we had to put a bunch more out here. Some of this are neck bones because I will be making broth, so we actually saved everything. I even saved um, the leaf fat so that I can render that um, to use in soap or whatever. So yeah, there's more in here. <laughs> I'm telling you what, guys, they did so good. We are so happy. Um, with what we got out of it. Um, so yeah, definitely this is something you all need to think about doing because I'm telling you what, this is where it's at. I mean, we just don't know anymore, you know, where our meat is gonna come from or if there's gonna be any or what, whatever. It's definitely time to start taking uh, control of your own food if you, are po if you at all can do that. Okay, in the garage fridge is where I put the leaf fat couple bags here because I'm going to be working that pretty quick but as you can tell those were huge bags that needed to be worked and we needed space to put them so they are in our refrigerator in the garage so you can tell guys we got a massive amount of meat from these girls <laughs> I'm starting to fill up the grow stalks here. This one was given to me by a friend. I've got this little orange one that I'm gonna to put together here and I'm filling it with potting soil. And yep, we're gonna start some seeds in there. So fun, check out these cute gloves from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Feels like spring. Oh my goodness, so exciting to get your hands in the dirt, start growing things. Oh boy, look how cute this little green stalk is. It's adorable. It's tiny, but it's so cute. And I think I'm going to let Avonlea plant her little garden veggies in here. I think that'll be so much fun for her. Lots of little holes to put her little plants in. Oh boy, let the planting begin. Too much fun. Jedediah the Fix-It guy is working on his go-kart. 
He had a birthday party and they all enjoyed riding the go-kart all weekend. Now there's some repairs that need to be done. He even made a new seat. Check that out. He reupholstered a seat and now he's getting ready to repaint it. He says he wants to try to make it red. Woohoo, the Black Widow is going from yellow to red. <laughs> Good job. Okay, we put the green stock in the dining room by the window because that's where we have the most light. We put our little tomato in there. Look at that, guys. Is that the funniest thing you've ever seen? A tomato that is growing tomato plants. <laughs> we got some ginger going. I've not put anything in these yet, but we're going to. And as you can tell, there's quite a bit of natural light here, so hopefully that'll be a good start to some of our little plants.